Welcome back guys. In this tutorial what I would like to do is to start working on our add category modal window. In the previous lecture we left off over here. We had created our three buttons but currently if we click on any of these buttons they don't do anything. But what I would like to do is in this lecture is to focus strictly on this button right here the add category. If the user clicks on it what I want is for a modal window to appear and on that modal window will appear a form allowing the user to input a category and it would have three buttons one for closing the modal window and one for submitting the the, uh, the, the form once the user is complete so let's go ahead and start on this in order to get this started we're gonna have to add some we're gonna have to add some attributes onto the button all right, so over here on our show actions, we have all of our buttons here. As I mentioned, I want to focus strictly on this right here, the add category button. If we go over here to the button tag, right next to the class name, go ahead and we're going to create two custom uh, attributes. The first one is going to be data toggle. And mind you, this is, this is uh, bootstrap. This is part of bootstrap. So that's where I'm getting data toggle from. And Bootstrap requires us to do data toggle of modal to identify that we're doing a modal, we're going to create a modal window. And then the second custom attribute is going to be data, uh, data target. This will let Bootstrap know exactly what's the target element that we want once the user clicks on the button. What's going to be the target element that's going to be identified as the modal window. So we are going to give this the target element an ID of add category modal. Okay, and that is it for that. Let's go ahead and mark that off. And then finally, let's go ahead and create our modal window. So going back to the admin dashboard, what we want to do is below the show action button uh, action buttons function. We're going to create another button, another button, and this one's going to be called show, show category modal. Okay, we're going to start off with a div tag and give this div tag the ID because this is going to be the target element that uh, we're going to make as a modal window. So we have to give it the same name as that data target attribute that I mentioned earlier not too long ago over here uh, right over here add category modal so we can go ahead and copy that and go down here and for the ID give it that name so now bootstrap knows exactly what the modal what the target is and then secondly we want to create a class name and add modal okay and before we get forget, go ahead in the return statement and add show category modal, add your parentheses because it's a method. And that should be for now. We can go ahead and test what this looks like for now. And inside our show category modal, the div tag, add uh, inside modal. If we save that and go back and add, click on this add category button, look. To the upper top left corner, we see inside modal. All right, and we can click at any, anywhere outside of the in, anywhere here, and the modal window will disappear. All right, we can go ahead and remove that dummy data. Let's continue. Create. Let's go ahead and create another div tag, and this one give it a class name of modal dialog, and another class of modal dialog centered modal dialog centered will, will allow us to vertically align the modal window to the center okay and then another class add modal dash lg for modal large by the fall bootstrap creates small modal windows but we want uh we want this modal window to have a greater width a larger width okay so that's for that, and within that div tag, create another one, 
and this one we're going to give it a class name of uh, modal content. This is essentially the wrapper. This will wrap around three important sections for our modal window. Three important sections that we're going to have for a modal window is the header, the body, and the footer. Okay, so let's go ahead and create those three sections. For now, go ahead and just start off with three uh, a div tag and paste that a total have the, a, th a total of three for now. Okay, and for the first one, we're going to add a class name of modal header and give it dummy data for now and call it header. And below that, go ahead and give it a class name of modal body and dummy data for body. And the last one, class name, uh, class name of modal footer with a dummy data called footer. And if we go ahead and save that and go back to the application, if we click on add category, look at what we get here. You see, as I mentioned, three sections. We've got the header and the body and the footer. And currently, we don't have any button here on our modal window that's like uh, like an X or a close button. But regardless, if we can click anywhere outside of the modal window and it disappears, okay? All right, so we're doing good so far. Uh, we have our three sections here. Uh, let's go ahead and continue or proceed with our modal header section. So let's see what we got. All right, so let's remove this dummy data here, header. And we're going to start off with adding a header tag, an H5 tag. And we're going to call it add category. All right, just like that. And also, I almost forgot, for the modal header, we want to do a few things here. For the background, for the header portion, I want to give it a background of info. And uh, we're going to do a text of white. All right. So if we save this, well, actually, before we, 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 we test that out, go ahead for the H5, add a class name of modal text, modal text, or modal title, modal title. That's what it was. All right. All right. Just like that. If we save that and go back to our application and test it out, look what we got here. And you see, this is the background color, which is uh, BG-info. And I want it to be in sync with the category, add category button here. Okay. All right. Let's go back. All right. What else do we want to do here? Uh, we do want to add a button, a closing button. So right below that, go ahead and add a closing button. And we are going to say, no, actually, you no, know what? No. All right. So a button tag, and we're going to give this a class name of close, like that. And let's see, add a span tag with an i tag within that. And the i tag I want, I'm making use of because I want to use Font Awesome, a Font Awesome icon. And this icon is called FOSS, FA, and what it was, it was times. If we go ahead and save that and go back and test it out, look at that, you see, right here. So not only do where are we able to click outside, but if I click on this X button, all right, it's not doing nothing. And I just realized that I need to add something else. So for the button here, I want you to add data. This is a custom attribute, data dismiss. And then we're dismissing what? The modal window, okay? This will let Bootstrap know exactly what it was to close the modal window. So if we save that and give it another shot, click on the X, it's gone, all right? Okay, so that's it for the header portion. Now let's, uh, let me, yeah, you know what? Let, let's just proceed with the body section, all right? So, for the body section, remove that dummy body uh, uh, um, text. And let's see, we're going to be creating a form here. In this form, we're going to do a label. 
a label, a label, and, and this label is going to be, we're going to do category, all right? Category, and we're going to give this a class name of text secondary. All right, and below that label tag, let's go ahead and create the input tag. Uh, input tag. Um, we're going to do input type of text. I see input field of text, and we're going to give it a class name of form. Uh, form control. That this is part of Bootstrap, in case you weren't aware. So that's form control. You can always look at their documentation and see. All right, so let's go ahead and save that and see what we got so far. So we click on the button, look at this. All right, so now we got an input field right in here. So the user can input their, the category name. Say I want to create a new category for, for I don't know, drinks, you know, something like that. Or uh, desserts, right? So that's like the idea is that we're going to start creating categories. All right, so that's it for, that's, it for the body section however I do want to create some room here for the top and uh, for, uh, for the top and bottom of the category so let's see what for the body here in the class right next to do my and let's do three let me see how that looks go ahead and save that and if we test it out again all right there we go uh, let me do two. I think maybe, yeah, maybe two is sufficient. So instead of my two, uh, three, do two. Save. And if we go back, there we go. All right, that's more. That's, that's better to me. All right, and finally, let's go ahead and create our footer section. So remove this dummy text here for footer. And what we want to do for the footer section is create two buttons, one for close and one for submit. All right, so let's go ahead and create our two buttons. Oh, actually, let me go ahead and copy this and paste it again. All right, so for the first one, this one's going to be, we're going to call it close, and for the second one is uh, submit. All right, let's add some class names. Some styling to the first one, close, and this one's gonna be. Uh, let's see. Well, first of all, let's do button type. Button type, uh, button. Yeah, button type button. No, actually, let me see here. All right, so that's close, submit. What do we want here? All right, let's add a class. Let's add a data attribute, a data dismiss, because this is also going to be closing the modal window. So we want to add data dismiss of uh, modal. And what else? All right. And let's add a class name here. Let's do class name of BTN, BTN secondary. All right. Just like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's it for that. That's that's that. All right. And then for the second one, for the submit, we're going to do class, give it a class name of BTN, BTN, and info. Yeah, info. And that's if that should be it for that. So let's go ahead and save that and go back, test it out, and look at that. Cool. Cool. If we close, if we press the close button for here, it's gone. So we, now we have an X button to dismiss it. And we can even click outside of the modal window, just like that. And so that should be it. That's it for now. But let me give you a quick view of how this would look on different devices. So I'm going to shrink the, the, the screen here. So this is desktop, right? And look how, as I get smaller and smaller. All right. That's probably, that's like tablet view right there. Or maybe that's tablet view. All right, so you see that we get the hamburger menu now. We get smaller and smaller. Now this is getting to the modal uh, to mobile devices. And look at that. And even if we get on a mobile device, modal, uh, mobile device, and click add category, look at that. You see, just like that. Awesome. All right.
so yeah, that's it for now. Um, I will see you in the next lecture.